there are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Real Madrid, everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching the final in club football. The UEFA Champions League commentary box, Derek Ray here, joined by... This stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do, just look at the quality down there. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football. The UEFA Stuart Robson. It's Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the play. For Real Madrid, Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Luka Modric plays with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. And operating through the middle in attack today, Karim Benzema. Must take the lead here. Keeper getting the touch. Oh, talented goalkeeper. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So Real restart the game. Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe. Modric. Tremendous ball played through. The end product just wasn't there. Team Benzema. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Cross. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. So, Sanchez. Now with Hakimi. Here's Ronaldo Sanchez. Taken away. He won the ball. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And the cross smuggled away. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. Options available. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? And struggling to get the shot off. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking. Verratti. On to Messi. And PSG put Chouameni. Now well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Now he must favour the cross. The first half here comes to an end. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Has eyes for goal! And nicely parried away. And now the delivery. Oh, super header! But the goalkeeper was up to the task. ...in the last 15 minutes, and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Akimi. Now with Mbappe. It's been slipped through by Marco Verratti. Oh, a goal! There. Well, let's see this again. What a pass this is from Verratti. And Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness. And so, back playing again. PSG with the lead. 30 minutes to go then. Renato Sanchez. And return to Messi. Long way out this. Well. Chouameni. 
So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. And in with a real chance. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. And with play stop. The... And he's fired over the corner. Taking care of business defensively here. Course. Looking for the angle. There it is, your finish. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. Vinicius Jr. And level it is in the closing moments. Can Real Madrid change that? Now the keeper completely untroubled. And Marco Verratti. Mbappe. Mbappe! Oh, good save to keep them level. Well, at this stage of the game, that's a vital stop. Fantastic for the keeper. Short corner favour. the ball once more that is that after 90 minutes understandable that fatigue might set in a strength sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins that is how to apply the pressure Ferreira here's Mbappe Messi, Messi, well quite simply not precise enough from that position, Real using width to good effect, a chance now, and fired over by Kroos, and the problem not complete, getting forward, and still looking to get the shot away. Can he put them in front? Oh. Well, on the Pereira. Must take the lead here. Excellent block. They favoured a short one here. Messi cutting in from the flank. Well, the shot had just a bit too much elevation. Ferreira. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late stage. Messi! Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. After 120 minutes, they... it is all about the penalty shootout. A Paninka penalty and a brilliant goal. And his own unique run up there, but a good goal. Can he keep us cool? And he's taken the low road, beautifully done. And that's how to take a penalty, low and into the back of the net. Clinical as always in front of goal. I think we might just have witnessed the unstoppable penalty. And it's gone in. And confidently converted. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Well, this could be the one. One team jubilant, the other distraught. 
Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was they played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Hey, Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they want. Enjoy it with your own supporters. Their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve.